Hi there. In this short video, we're going to take a look at a key diagram which helps you to analyze the effect of economies of scale for business and the impact on equilibrium price and also the level of profitability of the business. So an internal economy of scale, just to remind you, it comes from increasing returns to scale in the long run. And it means that as a firm's output increases, in this case from Q1 to Q2, is that scaling up production, the unit cost, the average cost per unit, falls and that is called economies of scale. What I want to show you is how you can use a diagram to show the impact of economies of scale on price and profit. So here's an initial diagram. We can see a downward sloping demand curve, AR and MR, uh, revenue curves for the firms. So this is obviously an imperfect competition. And initially the profit maximizing output is Q1, where MC meets MR. That allows the firm to charge a price P1 and a uh, level of cost C1. So this area here is the level of supernormal profit. Now, if they can achieve economies of scale, they can move down their long run average cost curve. So a profit maximizing producer might be able to, to move to this output uh, level, Q2. Q2 is uh, a higher output and uh, when marginal cost equals marginal revenue at output Q2, the cost per unit has come down to C2. So the total profit, as we can see there, is much higher at output Q2 compared with the profit at output Q1. There we go again, just to show this, that's the output at Q1, that's the profit Q1 compared with the profit at Q2. So the economies of scale has led to a fall in consumer price, good news for consumer surplus, and an increase in total profit, good news for producer surplus. In other words, with the economies of scale, there's been an improvement in economic welfare and efficiency. The key evaluation point, of course, is whether a firm benefiting from economies of scale actually passes on those unit cost savings to the consumer. So with economies of scale, uh, the output is higher in the long run. The profit maximizing price is lower. The total profit is higher. Producer surplus is also higher, as is consumer surplus. And this is an important aspect to consider when you're analyzing and evaluating uh, monopoly markets and oligopoly where businesses can achieve some significant internal economies of scale. Okay, thank you.